Hey guys, what's up? It's Jessica and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my October bullet journal setup inspired by Amanda Rachel Lee. This month I'm also going to be switching to a brand new bullet journal because I pretty much used up my Loose Trim 1917 bullet journal. I got my new bullet journal in a rush at Walmart and it isn't the color that I want my bullet journal to be. It's from the brand Pen and & Gear and it's pretty good. It has nice pages, three bookmark ribbons, and a little pocket at the back. It also has a little pen test page at the very end, which is pretty cool, so I can test out my pens before I using them on the actual spread. But the color doesn't really suit the general colors of the themes that I usually have, so I decided to give it a DIY makeover. I painted the spine white using acrylic paint, but I didn't paint the front or the back of the journal because I'm going to be covering it up using an old folder. This folder is from UB, and I never ended up using it for school. The grid design still looks really nice and minimalistic, so I traced the size of the cover and back of the cover onto the two sides of the folder and I cut it out. Then I glued it onto the front and back. I wrote the year of 2019 on it, even though I'm going to be only using this for three months. This DIY was pretty easy. You just like cut a design out and glued it onto the cover. So like, if y'all ever want to DIY notebook, that's how you do it. I actually asked on my Instagram what I should put on the front and they gave me some pretty cool tips on dealing with the cover because the material of my cover was like rubbery and weird. It was smooth, but it wasn't like normal kind of cover, like material. That's why I gave my initial idea of painting a picture or design on it. Off camera, I actually did this little quote and it was, be the change you want to see in the world because I actually don't really like set up my bullet journals up for the beginning of the year. I tried to, but I never ended up using it. So this time I just did a little quote page. After the makeover and the little quote page, it was time to start my October bullet journal setup. It's actually a completely different day and the weather was different too. So the lighting is different. I also tried out many different angles during this video and my head was in a bunch of them. So I'm really sorry. I sketched out all the spreads beforehand to avoid making mistakes. I'm actually really excited for this month's theme because it's all black and white and it looks so minimalistic and pretty. It's also super creative and fun because the moon is just really fun to draw. Also, it makes my life easier because since it's only black and white, I don't need to bring any fancy colors to school. Back to this red, here I am just drawing in the stars. It was a bit time consuming because I had to space out all of the different kinds of stars and the twinkly effects, but it was really pretty when I finished. Next is the monthly spread. I want to mention that I didn't draw all the doodles in the spread like Amanda because again I want to focus on school this month and I didn't want to take that much time to make sure that all my spreads had a lot of stars and moons in them so I made them more simple. I used a ruler to draw the actual month because I cannot draw straight lines and usually I forget to take a ruler out and I draw the lines and it gets really wobbly and then I start using a ruler and the rest of the lines just look really good and it's just really weird. With the moon faces at the top next to the word October, I actually messed up a little bit so we used went up to cover it up and redraw it. Also, you may be wondering why there is a pink notebook next to me or under my arm when I'm drawing, but it's because this new book is new, so it's like an inch above the table and there's like a big height difference and it feels really weird when I'm trying to draw on the very side of the page. So I put a notebook there to make the height even. Next is the mood tracker, and this month I'm actually really determined to actually fill this month's mood tracker in because every month I always start off strong and then I just stop filling it in because I forget to. So this month I really want to try to fill in as much as I can to make the circles for the mood tracker. I actually traced 
my cap from an Elmer's glue stick. I really like this month setup because usually when there's five different colors to choose from for my mood, I usually don't know which color to choose because my mood changes throughout the day. So now I can use black and white to show the percentage of which part of my day was good and bad. Because sometimes a mood starts bad in the day and then it gets really good at the end. So it starts bad, I can fill in like 30% black and then the rest is white. Next, we have the habit tracker of the month. I actually sketched it out onto the wrong page, and because my fine liners always bleed through the page, I like to skip a whole spread of pages between every setup. Since I forgot to skip a whole spread, I just ripped out a page from the back of my bullet journal, and I did my spread on that instead. I then glued it back into my journal. This journal is really cool because the pages actually have a crease so you can rip them out if you want. I also always forget to fill out my habit tracker, so this month I'm actually going to try to fill out the entire month. I also put my flute on there as one of my habits because I really want to start practicing my flute like more often because this year it gets much harder. On the bottom, I did what Amanda did and I wrote the quote, live by the moon, which I really like. After I was done, I just glued it into my journal. I added a study tracker this month and it looks like the traditional habit tracker. So on the top, we have all of my subjects represented in little pictures and on the side, I have all the days of the month. So whenever I study a certain subject that day, I will just color or draw a little circle in that row under the little picture. Lastly, we have my weekly spread. Also, I want to mention that some of the clips for some of the spreads are not there like my study tracker because my camera actually died. So that's great. For my weekly spread for the first week of October, I pretty much did exactly what Amanda did. I drew the moon cycle in the middle with little lines pointing to the day around the side. I really like how this weekly spread looks. I feel like it really fits this month's theme because I feel like everything in this month is circles, you know, the moon. So I really like this spread. I'm also really proud of my lettering for this spread. I feel like it's like the best Ever done maybe I just don't know I really like it then I went around and added little stars and twinkles everywhere around the cycle I feel like the stars are really just the final touch to every single one of these spreads this month finally I erased my initial sketching lines for all of my spreads and I also went back in and glued all of the white spreads that I left between every single setup. And for the final, final touches, I added more stars and sparkly stuff all over my spreads. Here is the final flip through for my October bullet journal setup inspired by Amanda Rach Lee. This month was so fun to make and Amanda's setup and her theme was amazing. So uh, thank you, Amanda, for making your amazing videos. And yes, that concludes today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching me creating my spreads and switching to a brand new bullet journal. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video and like this video if you enjoyed it. And yeah, that's it. Bye!